Music Tech. We're here at the NAMM show in California. We're at the Pioneer DJ booth and we're with Rob. How are you, Rob? I'm good. Good. What's going on? You got something for us today? Yes, yeah. So, new addition to our DJM range. Uh, something quite special for us DJM V10. New series. So, the V series designed to coincide with our DJM 900 Nexus 2, not replace it, right. and offer a whole host of new. Uh, very creative and technical possibilities and a whole different calibre of sound quality as well. So who is who is this for primarily? Because you've got six you've got six channels here, which yeah, is yeah. kind of new for most mixers. There's a lot of new things on here. So the fact that it's six channel means it can appeal to guys that really want elaborate setups. So very creative uh, uh, setups like live acts, live performers, back-to-back -back acts, duos, the fact that there's six channels along with two uh, headphone sections as well means it's perfect for the back-to-back -back artists sure. but also guys that want premium sound quality and the guys that are uh, elite sound quality is like uh, priority to them this is the best sounding mixer we've, we've ever developed due to the ESS technologies DAC so very high quality components no no expense was spared when we were making this it was like our no compromise mixer super super monster sound uh, let me run through what else is on there and I'll try and keep it concise to uh, adhere to your video policies. But yeah, six channels, as you yeah. know, two headphone sections along with booth EQ. We wanted to implement a booth EQ so artists can tailor the sound just in the booth, not what the, what, not what the crowd are hearing, just what the it's artist is hearing. Yeah. We've implemented this whole uh, send effect section. So a lot of advanced control here over six, sorry, four built-in effects inspired from delay pedals and reverb pedals and uh, the pedals that artists are touring with. We wanted to offer these effects internally in the mixer and offer four parameters of control below that, as well as offering two external controls here. So it's two external send return effects can be applied up here. We've also got a third send up here, which we're calling multi-IO. So traditionally in our heads, we're thinking this can be a return effects and this can be an insert effect. Right. So designed yeah. for uh, D, uh, RMX, EFX 1000, and maybe your DD7 and RV7 pedals down here. And you've still got your effects section over here as well, right? Yeah, yeah. So pioneer, like uh, heritage and uh, iconic beat effects section. Improved though, um, larger screen, so 3.5 inch touch responsive screen. So as you're scanning through effects, the screen will change to correspond with the effect that you're using. Uh, improvement on the effects frequency isolation crossovers here. An easier method of applying the effects because we've got this uh, effect assign switch, or sorry, effect assign button per channel. So easier to assign your effects. As well, we haven't included the filters in the uh, effects section. They're, they're independent okay. now. So nice. independent low pass and high pass filters with beautiful resonance control that you can apply on each track whilst you're using your effects sections as well. Okay, so you can apply resonance, that's, that's a nice feature. Yeah, you know, we got that on the 900 Nexus 2, but it's improved on this largely due to the improvement in sound quality. And we've got um, a more advanced filter control like the DJM 2000. You can start, zero sure. is all the way to the left. It gives you this full rotation of a plot, full rotation of the pot to apply the effect all the way. So uh, it's more elaborate control and more accurate mm. control of the filters. Big let's, feature. Yeah. Sorry, go on. I was going to say, let's talk about the EQ. Yeah. So we've never had a four band EQ before. Sure. Uh, really sought after feature for the guys that like to sculpt their sound and uh, really uh, tailor the sound a bit more accurately. The fact that we've split the mid into twos, into low mids and high mids means that uh, you've got, you can kill the subsonic frequencies. This goes up to 200 Hertz. I think it's uh, 200, 400, 1200, 3K. Brilliant. So yeah, guys that use the zone mixer are gonna love this feature. Uh, the, the three band EQ on the 900, simple, easy to use, not quite as accurate. So the guys that want the accuracy can use this now. What's your feedback been from people you've given this to and Crazy. let's try out? Yeah? Crazy, yeah. We've, we've listened to this it, during development. We, we've gone to every artist you can think of, <laughs> pretty much. That's a bold statement. But <laughs> we've seen some amazing artists. We've got to Pasha, DC10, Burgine, Sisyphus, awesome. uh, all the awesome. top nightclubs across the world. It, all the American guys have done a great job over here as well. And yeah, just had the seal of approval throughout Excellent. the industry as we've gone cool. through. 
So, is this available now? This will be available in about two weeks. We're at the NAM show now, so you know the date of that. We're in January. Uh, around about mid-February, this will be out. Right. Uh, key other standout things that I didn't touch on. Compressor per channel. Uh, very um, useful for live acts, guys that want to use a DJS 1000 or implement synthesizers, drum machines, play vinyl rips, low quality files. If you ever are playing different audio formats, you can increase the perceived loudness right. using the compressor. Sure. Uh, two mic inputs, very high quality, two sound cards as well. Three band isolator, nod to the old school there, just giving artists the option to, at the final stage yeah. of the mixer, bang, you can isolate the low ends, you can nice. put the low ends, mids and uh, highs. Less of a sound sculpting control, more of a, a performance kill. Okay, cool. Do we have a price tag for it? Yeah, so, we, as I said, no expense spared. This is our best sounding mixer we've ever put out. Definitely the most uh, packed with features and also the most expensive. It's 3299 euros. Cool. And this is part of the, you said this is part of the V series. Are we to expect other things? Uh, you know, we haven't got any other V mixers in the lineup, but this is our flagship V, uh, v mixer. So you nearly caught me. You're not going to catch me leaking any products. <laughs> this well, we've, is, we've, there's only one mixer. We've seen a few um, Wi-Fi enabled devices come into play, especially today with other brands and things like that. Some people are saying it might be the technology of the decade going forward for DJs. Are we likely to see Pioneer get a slice of the action on that one? Maybe. Not in mixers, you know, with, uh, with well, our mixers. Well, that would be quite <laughs> Yeah, well, potentially, you know, there's no Wi-Fi technology in, our, in, in any of our mixing product, in our, any of our mixers, in our yeah, mixing sure. desk, because they're, they're serving this purpose. Uh, Wi-Fi definitely does serve a purpose in, in uh, other, other products in many competitor products ranges. But yeah, sure. watch this space. Thank you very much, Rob. Cheers. My pleasure.